before using snow chains, it's crucial to inspect them thoroughly. They are located on a hanger to the side of the truck or back of the plow. Prior to installation, lay out the chains and inspect all components. The components are side rails, cross links, swivel hooks, inside hook, and outside lock keeper. Check for twists in the side rails and cross chains. It is most common for the ends to twist in on itself. Ensure the swivels are not crushed shut and the cross links are not worn through. To prepare the truck for chains, back onto a 4x4 wood block or ramp with the inner dual tire. Only the outer tires on the drive axles will receive chains. Drape the chains over the top of the tire with hooks in the 4 and 8 o'clock positions. Start with the inside hook. Try to hook in a way that the distance between cross links is even, usually three links from the end. Keep extra chain on outside so it doesn't rub against the tire. Hook the outside hook and keeper similarly, leaving extra chain on the outside. Roll the cross links evenly and secure the hook with the keeper. Check chain tension by grabbing two links between the bottom swivels. The chain can be tightened by one link if they touch. You should be able to put your hand between the chain side rail and tire. Bungee cords are not necessary for this type of chain. Cross links are designed to swivel during operation. If swivels or cross links need to be replaced, the cross link has a notch cut out that can pass through the swivel. During snow events, check chains for wear often. New chains may stretch after 10 miles, requiring a recheck. Drive at a maximum speed of 35 miles per hour, depending on conditions. Follow these instructions to ensure safe and effective snow chain usage. <laughs>